Hello and welcome to Channels Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Despite many challenges and bad press, Nigeria is still beautiful. From geographical, topographical, and cultural points of view, it's really an amazing country. Few will deny that the country has massive but sadly untapped potential. No one probably knows this more than Dayo Ade Dayo, a prolific and much celebrated photographer who has traveled the length and breadth of Nigeria, capturing its breathtaking beauty with his lenses. Dayo Ade Dayo is the author of photo books on Nigeria, including the best-selling Nigeria 2.0, which he created after traveling around the 774 local governments in Nigeria. He joined us in our studio to discuss his most recent book titled Tour Nigeria, which is a collection of photos and write-ups introducing readers to the charm and elegance of a country badly in need of repairing its image. Enjoy this chat with Dayo Adidayo. Dayo Adidayo, thank you for joining us on Channels Book Club. Oh, thank you for having nice me. Nice to have you again. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> the interview I had with you a few years ago was one of the most memorable ones, you know, for me. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. So it's really exciting to have you, you here again. Thank you. Uh, um, hmm. You have been taking pictures That's right. of important sites in Nigeria for many years. That's your work. That's your passion. That's what you love doing. That's what I do for a living. And I saw in this book, which is your, I mean, one of your latest books, yes. Tour Nigeria, I saw from the introduction, you mentioned you've collected up over 3 million. It's over 4 million now. Over 4 million photos. That's right. That's incredible. Over 4 million images. On Nigeria. That's right. Tour Nigeria was released last year. Wow. What's that like? What, what has it been like? Uh, it's quite exciting, and um, unfortunately, I will use an analogy on Nigeria. It's like sending a salesman from a shoe uh, factory to a city. On getting to the city, nobody was wearing a shoe. I mean, two salesmen to a city. So one of them went back to say, that's not business for us. Because people are not wearing shoes. Because people are not wearing shoes. The second guy came back to say, wow, a this market. is a gold mine. Everybody because needs everybody shoes. Everybody needs shoes. <laughs> and that is the story of Nigeria. Nigeria is an untapped uh, country in terms of tourism. It's a gold mine. Everything is still in its natural state compared to most countries of the rest of the world where small roads will take you, have train, you have place to take you there. You know, going on the Nigerian roads, it's part of the experience as well, because you will never forget your experience. Mm. You know, it's, uh, it's amazing. We have too many amazing things in this country. From what you have seen, shots you've taken, places you have been, uh, and have conversing with people all over the country, why do you think there is no value for that tourism potential of Nigeria. Why? Because I look at your photos in your books and I ask myself, why are we all still going abroad for, I mean, those who can afford going abroad to, for holidays and vacations and sightseeing? Nobody's seen any sights here. Two things, or let me say three things. One is education. Two is the values lost in the system. And three, which is very key, is the challenges we're having at the moment in terms of security. Mm. But um, I don't want to mention any country in the world. So what do you do go there to see? I mean, if you take the top three con destinations that Nigerians go to, what are they going to see? In most cases, they're just going there to shop. Nobody goes there to visit the museums to see what is going on in that country. They just go probably stay in five four-star hotels, then go to the shops to shop. So in essence, you don't really have Nigerians going on holiday as tourists. Majority of them are just going as, uh, just to go and buy something, that's all. So you're saying we don't have a culture of tourism? Because of education. When, we, I mean, at my age, when we were in secondary school, 
You go to places away Koro Cement, high school in Ogun State. You go to away Koro Cement factory. You go to the beer factory. I mean, just for us to see Oluma Rock is there. You know, this, these are things we did when we were in Form 3. You know, so those are the part of things that have grown up with me to see better things, what is going on. But we need to market ourselves. That is still what is lacking. Because if you don't advertise your illness, you will never find a cure for it. Hmm. Now, there are about 774 local governments in Nigeria. I hope I'm right. Yes, No, no, seven hundred and four. I'm not correct on that. Yes, okay. So there are about seven, seven hundred and seventy-four local governments in Nigeria. That's right. You've been to every one of them. Every single local government in Nigeria. Taking shots. Taking yes. Now, in, in this book, you wrote here your five or six yes favorite destinations for tourism in Nigeria. That's and right. immediately I saw that. I said to myself. If this man writes something like this, everybody needs to read it and go there. <laughs> you know? So I said, okay, so I was keen on reading here. Your favorite spot in Nigeria, tourism spot in Nigeria, is the Mambila wow, Plateau. In Saudana local government of Taraba State. Taraba State itself is a gold mine given to Nigeria. Why? The appellation of Taraba State is nature's gift. Mm. to Nigeria. To me, there are several, aside from the Mambila Plateau, from the base to Gembu is 220 kilometers driving. So what you are looking at is breathtaking beauty as you've never seen before. Even in all developed countries that we go to, mm. that's how beautiful the Mambila Plateau is. is. Then you have the waterfall down there as well. And aside from that, in Taraba State, you have the best of the national parks, which is Gashaka Gumti. Is it the best? It's the best in Nigeria. Much more better than that. Of, uh, no, I don't want to put any state down. <laughs> but it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. In the, we have several parks in the country. Yeah. But because Gashak, Gashaka Gumti is actually, you have uh, lots of rainforest around that area. Is it, uh, compared to what you have in Bauchi, uh, the Ankari Games Reserve in mm -hmm. Baoshi, that one is in the Savannah Belt. Okay. You know, so you can so see the difference. Rain uh, yes, rainforest. So real forest. Uh, absolutely. Then in there, you have the tallest mountain in Nigeria you, as well. Uh, you know, okay. you, you, this makes me sad in a way because why are we not tapping into these things? Anyway, you, you've said uh, uh, Mambila, Plato. Then I was surprised by your second one. The Ulushe Gomba Sonjo Presidential Library. Because of lack of education in the society, you know, we all have a predetermined ideas of conception about something, you know. But as a student of history and politics, there's no way you will go to Ulushe Gomba Sonjo Presidential Library. I won't be blown away. So your, your love for history and politics? History and politics. Yeah, showed up here. <laughs> Absolutely, because what, what happened actually is the conception, the conceptualization of having so much documents in one place. And mind you, that is the only presidential library outside the United States of America. It's the 14th. And if I'm right, they have over 10 million uh, records in their archives. In, so, uh, the, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in yeah, if you want, million. yeah, over, if I'm right, over 10 million, you know. So, if wow. you want to do research on Nigeria, you go to Lucia Gomba's uh, Gomba presidential library, you know, you, you get whatever you're looking for in Nigeria. And going into the museum as well, you know, you have the pre Nigeria, before Nigeria, and after Nigeria, and of course, our contemporary political history which you will see glaringly of the PDP all this because you know President Shalusha Gomba Sandra was, was a PDP yeah. candidate. But you just have to go through all these things. What, what, what so, are we so looking for? So the library for? is that good? No, fantastic. It will take you two days actually to, to, to actually assimilate what is in that library. It's not a day trip. You know, I'm going to take your word for it. It's you talking. Yeah, yeah. You know, it will take <laughs> you two you days, talking. believe me. It will take <laughs> okay. you two days. Um, and then you went to the third one. Is it Jaffi? Jaffi, 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 Jaffi Fall. Yeah, in Borono. In Borono State. Yeah, Kuraakusa. The same Borono State where there's so much. Borono State 
Afro Taraba State should be the richest state in Nigeria. Should be. Should be the richest state in Nigeria. Why? Uh, like Saldana says, uh, Ahmad, uh, Sa Saldana. Saldana. Yeah, Saldana of Sokoto, Sokoto said, yeah, yeah Ahmad Bello. Ahmad Bello, yeah. In the 60s, that we need to understand ourselves across the country. We don't know each other in this country. That is one of the major reasons we are having political crisis. The day we understand and know each other, all these things will filter away. First, because of the landmass in Borono State. To start with, Borono State will take the whole of Southeast. Mm -hmm. Borono State, you will fit the whole of Southeast into Borono State. In terms of size. Uh, in terms of size, and you still get change. You know, there will still be space for other states to come in. That's number one. Two, farmland in Borono State is amazing. Borono State can feed the whole of West Africa and still export to the rest of the world. That's number two. Number three, in terms of tourism, the Jaffi Fall I mentioned, there was a crater, because nobody talks about all these things, or yeah, like it's I not said, in the mainstream, it's yeah. not in the mainstream uh, industry. Yeah. You know, there was a crater. Okay, meteorite. Meteorite fell from outer space some thousands or millions of years ago. And before you get to this place, you start seeing the rock bit by bit. A kilometer, you start to see little by little. As you get closer, you see more of those rocks. So there is a stream that flows across that place. So during the rainy season, it turns into a fall. And you will even see the actual impact of that meteorite. You know, and to me, that's incredible. It's incredible. And if you take a, a chopper, you will see the circular bit of the place. I know? mean, we got, I mean, so many places, I mean, you mentioned here, incredible. But your, your, the pictures, as always, are just beautiful. Thank you. Really beautiful. Thank the Riam Park, uh, Oluma Rock, of course, Zuma Rock, the more famous ones. The less famous ones, the Party Hills. Yeah, that's it. Nabia Lokoda. State. Uh, Party Hill, yes, yeah, in Lokoda, Lokoda, yes, so you yeah. can see the River Niger. And then across. the Usuru Rolling Hills. Yes, in Abia State. Yeah, and this lovely Ogbuni Cave. Ogbuni Cave, that's one of the famous uh, caves in Nigeria. Okay. But Ogbaoku Cave, which is not far okay. away from there, still in Anambra State. In Anambra State. It's a lot beautiful than that. Okay, I mean, it's lo I mean this yeah, is that's amazing. A, yeah. Ogba, yeah. Ogba, 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 yes. Wow. In Anambra State. There are a lot of several caves in the southeast of Nigeria. And the confluence yes. where in Lokoja. Lokoja, where River Niger is, then, is incredible. This is actually where the two rivers meet. Absolutely. And you to, can see that from. Yeah, you can only get that from a very high point. I took that while flying over Lokoja. So, so most of this aerial shot you took while in a Plane or no, no. The drone. There is only one picture I took with a plane. That's okay. the confluence. But okay. all other ones with, are with drones and helicopters. Helicopters. Okay, incredible. So, I mean, what's this experience like for you? I mean, I know I asked a similar question at the beginning, but I'm asking this from the perspective of of emotions. You know, um, uh, what does it feel like going around the country and taking those shots? The truth of the matter is. We have a beautiful country that we don't even know. In Lagos State sits the largest monument in Africa. In Nedo State sits the largest monument, man-made monument ever in the history of the world. Wow. Ten times greater than the Great Wall of China wow. that we do not sell. Shugmaredo is there. In Ogun State, was buried the Queen of Sheba, Bilikisu Shugbo, the Queen of Sheba. No one talks about it. You go to Plateau State, the most beautiful state in Nigeria, in terms of weather, in terms of rock formations, in terms of the vegetations. You know, we need to... So it sounds to, to me like the emotion, the emotion you feel the most is that of pain, right? Absolutely. Pain. Yeah, because why do we have to look for what we have Outside. It's only in Nigeria we export crude oil and import uh, refined. <laughs> I'm saying yeah. that we, we are wasting money to go out to see what we have in abundance. In, in Yobe, in Boronu, you have deserts as far as the high could see. You know, we could be doing desert safari. And what is causing the, all the security challenges? 
unemployment. And guess what? Tourism is the largest employer of labor. All over the world. All over the world. Well, um, we can go on and on. And Tour Nigeria is like um, a smaller version of Nigeria 2.0, right? right? Yeah, that's 2 right. 2.0, right. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I will definitely bring you back for round three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, actually, because a lot of people are complaining about the weight of 2.0, it's comprehensive. And this is, this is light. And, you know, people can have it as a gift to everybody. And it's good for our children. Yeah. You know, they need to know where this country is. You know, yeah. it's a beautiful country and the most beautiful country in the world. Thank you very much. Thanks well, for this time. Thank you for joining us on Channel Spook Club. <laughs> thank you for having me once again. Nice. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Thank you.